Hello everyone. Okay, let me tidy up a bit. <clears throat> so, I was planning today, hello Mitty, to um, show you the iCrafter um, product. But unfortunately, um, it hadn't gone live yet, so I'm not allowed to do that until next week. Um, until next Friday. So if you wait till next Friday, I will show you the iCrafter product. Today, I decided, I thought I'd go back to old school. I decided that I would do a tutorial on box making using your scoreboard. Just wait for a few people to come in. Hello, Laura. Hello, Tarikton. My uh, feed is very low here. I'm going to transfer over to YouTube. Bear with me. No, that's not my channel. There we go. Different. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we um I did up um I've I've had to change my um uh I'll wait for a few more people coming and I haven't actually got my moderator here yet. Um So yeah, we'll be working with the um, scoreboard today. Um, now, with my scoreboard, you will get two died. Hello, Dieta. You will get two died. One died, like on my one here. I can't show you because the camera is not at this point. On my one here, this is a adorable, gorable scoreboard from Hunky Dory. Now, on this one, it's got box lid and box base. And when you look at it, this died in a little bit um, shorter here along this edge than this edge here. And that helped big time to make your box in, like magic big time. So, yeah. Hello, Lisa. Okay, let's get started. So, I will put my scoreboard down. I don't need to leave it yet. And I uh, have got some paper here, some card story, and I, I'm going to use these. Now, this one, if I can find it, is from my new paper that I showed you last week. Uh, Let the adventure begin. This is one from uh, a shop here in the UK called The Work. Three pound for um, a twelve by twelve pad, absolutely brilliant. Two hundred thirty GSM. There's uh, twenty four sheet with two designs on each side, or oh, oh, a design on each side. So um, yeah, a very good, very nice, dirty card to use for box making. And I'm also using a Dentura pearl because I thought very nice. Blue D, blue guy, you know, that'll go nicely with, with my dad from the um, other one. And on the other die, I did aeroplane. So it goes quite nicely. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're going to uh, get our cutting instrument, whether it's your, um, whichever one you have. Okay, and we are going to uh, trim this down to 11 inches. 
an 11 inch square, okay? I need one, the blue one, I need an eight, eight inch square. Now, just so you know, I am talking some in instructions from my um, magazine I bought the other week. Let me pop that up there. Um, from the issue 30 of um, Crafted in Brayden magazine. And it is the uh, gift box um, idea. Um, it had all the instructions here. Now, there is a little bit that I'm not sure about. And it's the 11 inch square, and I've got to gore two inches. Not sure how that's going to work with an 8 inch, oh, with an 11 inch square. So we will find out in just a moment. So eight inches. <laughs> yeah, we've got we've got a really nice job here. It, it I call it a craft job, but it it's a job that tells nearly everything. You know, it tells football, it tells puzzles, it tells books, it tells. All sorts of things, great things. It does lime and teddy bears, but their craft section is absolutely brilliant. And it's a discount store as well. That's what makes it even better is that we're getting, we buy all this stuff from the work and it's great. Um, oh, give me. And it's really great uh, product for a fantastic price and a price that no one's going to bat an eyelid at, you know? So here we go. Um, it's a four inch, two, four, yeah, it's going to be a four inch box. So what we need to do, if we've got our eight inch one here, let me just move this somewhere different, uh, an eight inch one, We'll take it off for a minute. And we've got to um, go lid one on the lid die, which is this die here. That your normal die is your lid die. Well, for me it is. And we go at two inches. If you have your uh, box maker from Crafted Companion, it still two inches. Okay, we've got two inches okay again two inches and two inches so when you look at it we have let me go that one again it's not we have our four inch square in the middle here that your base the bait let's call it the base bit of your lid but it's the bit that there okay so that's what, what you do with that. You then need to grab your diddle. And I like to cut out the gore mark. So cut out your gore mark. Okay. And make a wedge. Okay. Now that will help you um, to level up your, what do you call it? Um, level up when when you're gluing the box together. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to knit a little bit down. Well, day a little bit. I'm leaving about half an inch on it. Just do. The circle that I'm going to be doing doesn't get in the way. Or oh, half circle, sorry. Okay. 
So yeah, I, I'm doing this tutorial this week purely because uh, this tutorial was going to be done next week, but I'm going to have I've had to change it. Um, so, uh, the three of you know already. I've had to change it because um, iCraft I haven't released my make yet on Dojo Media, so I have to wait until next week when it comes out. So I think next Friday will be the day that I will show you it. Um, I will investigate a little bit more. Now, with the with boxes, well, actually, let me be honest with you guys. With most folding, I never, I never burn it yet. I never burn it yet. I don't know why. It just, I prefer not to. When it, especially when it comes to boxes, you know, because when you burn it, yet, you get this funny bit on the inside that sticks out. So I don't bother. I don't bother burning it. And I always, I always do the fold with, with the um, gore line. So I wouldn't go on this side and then fold it that way. Um, I would go on this side and fold it this, this way. It's just something I do because it doesn't buckle the paper then, you know. But um, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to be using the Crafted Companion um, tape pen because it's easier and quicker. I use plenty of tape pen on it, on all the flat, okay, and then you just do your manoeuvring using the edges as the guideline, and the heat from your finger um, activates the glue from the pen. So there you go, you've got a nice edge there for the lid. Oh, that nice. Very nice. Right, something else I'm going to do, just before I fold this edge in, is I'm going to measure to the middle. Okay, because I don't have a, a punch that does, will do this. I wish I did, but I don't. So I'm going to use my, I don't know what you call it, whatever it is. Um, my compass, that's it. Um, and it that um, uh, what's it at? Oh, yeah, three quarters of, of an inch, so roughly four centimeters. Okay, three quarters of an inch. So I'll just do that, come back round. And you guys know me, I, t I like to take my time with the cutting. There we go. And with the rest of it, I've made the gore. With the rest of it, I'm just going to use my craft knife. Because I made, made a, a pilot hole, Joey Day, a pilot line. Now I'm using a blunt craft knife. <laughs> oh, dog law in it. Let's use my dead in dead. My craft knife is blunt. Okay, so very slowly go round or use your punch. What's it called? An edge punch. There we go. And it create just create that little hole there, just so you can open the box lid easily. Okay, that is exactly why I cut down my flap, just so you can't do any of the flap because they would have been out here otherwise. You know, I just cut them down. No problem cutting them down. The box is going to be just as strong because of the glue and the card that you use. Hello, quilling lady. Hello, Patty. Blimey, 
from people that I haven't even said hello to. Oh, and people, say hello to um, uh, Janan as well, please. And um, she has actually asked if people could light candles and pray um, for her, because her dad isn't very well at the moment. Um, he's not very well at all. So yeah, if you if you pray, please do pray for her. All right, there we go. That, that is the lid done. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Isn't that brilliant. I like that. So we're gonna we're gonna de decorate that um after. Now to um the um the the, the uh, that's not what I want. Now to the base. Oops, made a big noise there. Um, and it says in the introduction um, to do the inner two inches as well. But um, but here, so if I do two inches, my box lid isn't going to fit, is it? I don't know why it told me to do an 11 inch square. This is for the bay. Two. So how is it going to work? Two inch all the way around. That will be one, two, three. Five dick seven inches, a seven inch base. Something not right here, guys. With this, why am I thinking that they didn't right? And anyone got um, issue thirty of crafted in inspiration on page thirteen for the gift box? It to me, it's not reading right. Could I would have done, what would I have done? Uh, right, 11, half 11 is five and a half. So two inches, one, two, one, two. That four inches there. So that would make it a three and a half inch. Yeah, it, one sheet of card that I don't want to wait, Quilling Lady. Because um, I don't have much of it. And I don't know when I can get back. I'm going to do it my way. Because I think it will work. But now I'm th umming and knowing. Oh, thank Laura. It, uh, it, um, number two, it, um, interruption number two, draw both pieces at two inch line. Well, I know for a fact that not right for an 11 inch piece of paper. Oh, yeah, do what they did then on Monday. I'm really tempted to do it my way. <laughs> Could your your four inch box just be in the middle? I'm gonna test it out this way. Just lightly do it, you know. One more. Okay, let's have a look. Can I, the dies are going to be quite long, quite big anyway, which is what I understood. Uh, page 13, Laura. You know what? I think I am right. But um, I think I'm going to do it. 
when the box lid died, the dato. Oh, I don't know. That's right, that is right. Yeah, that is right. I'm doing it my way. Right, if you ever get Itchy 30 on page 13 for the gift box, it go two inches for your lid, okay, and three and a half inches um, for, for your box bang. It's not right. I will call them up and let them know that they're dumping wrong. Need to give them a call anyway, because I've got to ask them some bit. Okay, GD. It just, it, it, the die is going to be about three and a half inches. So when the box goes on, yeah, they did right. Yeah, 11, I thought it did. It's because they want the box to be a bit uh, taller, but it, the two inch, um, Score line that is wrong for the 11 inch box. Okay, guy. It's not right. I knew it wasn't. Because it wouldn't have made a. <laughs> it wouldn't have made a. Um, what did it? A base for you to put your lid on. <laughs> what that? Four inches. 11 minus 4, Devon. It would have been a Devon inch base for a bot. <laughs> for a 4 inch bait for, for a 4 inch tight bot. How funny. That would have been wrong. Now this card I'm using is thinner than uh, the blue card. Um, it obviously, Dentura Pearl that I'm using. And that is actually 300 GDM. I need 230. <laughs> it's lucky that I'm good, fairly good at math. Rubbish at words, but I'm great at math. It's mainly when it comes to measuring for uh, for uh, crafting it. What are I doing again, Laura? Uh, oh yeah, crafting is my new medicine. Doctor Lauder. I have to keep keep crafting to keep my brain calm. <laughs> oh, so funny. My GP thrilled. She, she, I called her up yesterday and she was like, oh, brilliant. She knew that. She, she knew from the dark what, what was wrong with me and she told me as well. So I made a point of actually saying to her, you were right, doctor. <laughs> Oh dear, right. I'm going to chuck those beads in the way. I don't need them. So, just to recap, okay, the box lid is eight inch square, okay, to cut out first. When you've cut it out, gore your two inch um, gore line on your lid side of the board, okay, and you've got your lid. Then obviously I've got this bit here. You can you can add this bit. It just helps you take the lid off a bit easily, more easily. Um, you then have your eleven by eleven square inch square. Okay, eleven by eleven inches, and you want to go at three and a half on your um, base side. Let me double check that. Yeah, on your base side of the board, three and a half, okay? Not two and a half. <laughs> Just, <laughs> uh, if you want to follow the rules, in, uh, the instructions in the, in the magazine, go ahead. But you're going to waste a bit of paper, or quite a bit, <laughs> if, you're, if you're not too good at mathematics. <laughs> oh, dear. 
we all make these mistakes. Even even publishers make these mistakes. <laughs> huh? oh. oh, Diwali. Now that um, Diwali is red and white, isn't it? Diwali, red and white colours, I believe. Um, and um, Hanukkah is blue and Dilva. Uh, festive. So if you're if you're um, um, what the Christian church call a pagan, or like my Delva Druid, it red and green. Uh, red and gold, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely mixture. Very nice mixture. That uh, Buddhist thing as well, red and gold. It's a, a luck colour or something like that. Luck and money. I'm just going to undo that a bit because it wasn't, it wasn't level. Uh, you guys know me. I'm not really that interested in perfection, but when it comes to putting boxes together, you don't want want a wonky bottom, do you? Not at all. Oh my word! Yeah, Lita. I was up watching that at one o'clock in the morning here. And I love that go to hell. Dieta, you missed it last night. I think that's why Beth Malone's not here because she probably do in bed <laughs> from watching um, watching crafty bit. But yeah, the LDRN go uh, Halloween house. I'm not allowed it because it's um, it's an nature den only. All the stuff last night, nature den only on on LDRN. Oh. I'm so, so upset about that, because that goat hell was lovely. There you go, there's your box. So I would write, it is a um, three, three and a half inch um, fold, not two inches. Two inches would have made it so your lid actually went like that into, <laughs> into the, um, the base rather than over the top. But making that, making this bit here is actually quite nifty. Look, it's quite nifty. And you could change the box as well. You could change the box lid. What you could do is you could cut away all the tabs on one on one side, uh, adhere this part, adhere this part here to one of the dies of the box and make it like a extra large um peep the box you know what i'm gonna do that i like that idea so i just cut down my edge here don't like that don't like that and the bait the uh glue's not gonna be stingy yet because i didn't put down on it properly that's going to be good. So, yeah, always have a read through the instructions with any of these sort of things first, just in case, because you don't want to be wasting all of your paper, do you? And I knew just by looking at it, first time I read it just now, by the way, um, I knew by looking at it that it wasn't right. Oh, that's run out. Cool, that's the Deccan one this week, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to slip that on there, put that on there, bring this bit back, and put down using that. Any overhang, I'm just going to cut off. Just like that. There will be an overhang. 
Okay, and there is your box lid. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, I like that idea. Hershey nuggets. What a Hershey nugget. Oh, they down nice. Hershey nugget. Well, we've got we've got this weird big kit, new big kit. Where is it? It. Uh, I don't know where my mum got it from. I wouldn't like today either. But the Twit Caramel Dent Big Cookie Big Kit. Very nice. Very nice. A bit naughty, but very nice. But naughty is always nice. Right, so, I was thinking, okay, I've got these lovely damped here that, that um, I was thinking I might use, and I might do like, like a beat dean, try and, try and do a beat dean. Um, in the magazine, They've got a nice little bench, which is this bit here, um, and some grass. You get given a damp for the grass, but I quite like the idea of the pennant and um, and the two little characters here. Uh, yeah, I quite like that idea telling me loads of other numbers, but I don't get it. But, um, yeah, I think I might do that. Um, I might, I'm a, and I might do it like they've done it in here as well. Let me turn it the right way up. So you've got your pennant going across, and then they adhere the, a damp there in the hole. But they've left a little bit, so you can still open it. And I'm still going to do this job for you and the two bit. Um, but I'm going to do it in yellow, I think. I'm going to do it in this lovely yellow for for the job for you and the um, and then those other bit. And they've used they've used this die, which is the die that had. The two, could they two die the different? Okay, when you get the magazine, the two. Let me, where is the camera? The different camera, though, I'm still getting used to it. So they're two different design. This one is a little bit flatter, where this one has got a little curly, wavy bit here. Can you do? So, yeah, you get two different designs. I'm going to use the design they show there. I'm going to do it in yellow as well. So we'll do that in just a moment. But first, I want to put this damp away. Because I'm not going to use it. I just wanted to show you which damp they used in the, in the book. Here's the damp deck. The damp deck that they used in the book. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm upside down, aren't I? That is actually upside down let me turn you around so you can see it properly do apologize people am i the right way up now come on don't muck about there we go I'm the right way up now. You can actually do me properly. <laughs> Nobody did anything. Oh, how funny is that, eh? Gremlins already. It's only the end of the week. Okay, end of the week. It's only the beginning of oh, the weekend. Right, so I've got my, got my hodge head. Got my pennant. My garland. Whatever you want to call them. I think the the proper word for them is pennant, isn't it? Um, I'm going to get my damping platform. So, crafting lady, do you um, celebrate Diwali? 
Yeah, do you celebrate Diwali? That is what you did, I think. The fireworks. I've seen fireworks during Diwali. Oh, my word. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, dear. So you, you do make me laugh. Dare to like my big sister. She's like my big, uh, big older sister. Not much older. She's 21 like me. So I'm using, you guys know, I use a mixture of, um, of product depending on how I feel about them. I'm using here the um, Raven Black Hybrid Ink from Crafted, Compan from Crafted Companion, from LDRF Creative, sorry. Laura, Laura, Laura's my auntie, and Dieter's my older sister. <laughs> they both look after me. Right, I'm going to do a little bit more because I missed, I knew I missed some black. I think I'm running out of black ink in this, to be honest, because I do use it a lot. <laughs> Not just on video, but off video too. So, you new guy. I am using um, something called the Damp End Ball. It's fantastic. Um, a couple of you have one, I know. But the damp endable is brilliant. Um, it is by LDRS. And the day I use different products from different people and I use what I like, okay? What I really like. And I wouldn't tell you to get it if I didn't think you would benefit. So if you can get it, you can get it from... Um, um, uh, scrapbook.com you can get it from if you're in america i believe michael do it and other other craft job have a look but the damp endable brilliant for anyone with deck derity problems okay now a couple of years ago i started to um, become unwell and i eventually had deck derity problem with mostly my left side but my right side is dying as well so the damp endable is brilliant. You can hold it two ways. You can hold it like this if your hand not doing great, or you can hold it like that, and it just helps give an even pressure over your damping platform or your damping, yeah, your damping platform. So if you've got a midi or one of these, this is a, um, a press to impress, um, and it's brilliant. I adore it on um, Hotchanda, which is a, a craft um, web, uh, a craft web, yeah, a craft web diet, as well as the TV channel over here in England. And uh, um, I loved it. And a friend of mine owned a craft shop up north somewhere. And um, I asked her if she had it in, if she did happen to have it in dog, and she did. So she told it to me. It, it was, it was a fair amount, but understandably, because it's very good. Um, I mean, other people may say, oh, I love my Misty. And then I haven't tried Misty, so I couldn't say. Um, so I just moved these around, by the way, just because I want multiples of the garland. So I need, what do I need? I need the garland all the way around the box. I need four there. And I need one for the top of the box. I need five garlands. And I need um, two for the top and one for the front of the box, for the hedgehog. So I'm doing an extra hedgehog. And I will be doing five garlands. Okay. So, so you know, where did I put my ink? Come on, Dilly. It is very cute, isn't it? Do get IG30 if you can. I mean, if I'm honest, 
one thing for a beginner, okay, one thing that I would suggest getting doesn't have to be Crafty Companion. I get it because I love Crafty Companion products and I haven't found any magazines out there that are the same uh, quality. Do you know what I mean? Um, but there are other magazines out there. One thing I would say is get yourself a mag magazine with, with little bits in. It's worth the money, I tell you. It's so worth the money um, to to buy the magazine because it's a little kit in one go and it can really help boost your your um, your um, dash, dash up, you know, and give you loads of ideas. And I'm going to use my little one. Uh, can you my little one? What did Quilling Lady say? Yeah, so if you're a beginner and you think, oh, I've got no inspiration, get your double magazine, dear. Whether you're male or female, get your double magazine. So that number three, look at that. Just edible, isn't it? <laughs> Let's move them away a bit. Let's move that on back. And I'm going to colour the pennant in after. Um, I don't know what colour yet. They did red. I don't know if I want to do red yet. I might do purple. That is my favourite colour. Okay. One more pennant. I'm going to wipe that. So yeah, I have all different types of different um, likes and dislikes within the craft. Um, you know, qual good quality paper or card. Um, I would always suggest either hunky dory or um, um, crafted companion. Um, or if you're in the UK and you want something really cool and very cheap, very cheap, pop yourself down to the work.co.uk. There's one in nearly every single hydrate now. Um, it wasn't that, it was five years ago that they opened up here in Hating. So, um, yeah, and they're, they're, they're here in here in the UK and Northern Ireland only at the moment. Um, I'm not sure. They all a day at the moment. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what they're, what they're planning. Right, now the pennant. What do I do? I've got a, a dark red blend. What's that like? That's a bit too dark, I think. That's a night red, but I don't know if I want them red. So let's have a look at, I, I quite like this hydrangea the other day. It, it, it's nearly, this one is very close to a royal purple. And royal purple is definitely my colour, dear. Royal purple is the colour of the divine and colour of um, inspiration. So that's a little bit lighter. They call it hydrangea, this yeah, colour. Oh, I quite like that. Let's have a look at the purple purple. Here's the purple purple. So they did the dark one. Oh, that's very dark, very naughty, that. Here's the light coloured one. There's medium, this one. Sorry. And here's the light coloured. The light coloured very close to the... Very near to this one. Can you check? Can you do? Very close to that. Um, I quite like the hydrangea. I think I'm going to go for um, the dark hydrangea for my pennant. I'm not going to give them any jading. I'm not going to colour down 
something else I like about the uh, ink pad that I used is that it stopped the um, alcohol ink from my tri blend from bleeding out. It's very good. It's very much like it's a mixture between um, um, your pigment and your normal. Um, so this will also work with um, watercolour. It, uh, it's a two-in-one really, let's call it a two-in-one. So it will work with alcohol ink and it will work with your watercolour as well. Or your tricolours or whatever they call them. Aqua pen, etc. Even normal watercolour. So you could put water over this right now, paint just water over it, and it will not bleed, it will not, um, you know, it won't bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. That uh, that the really I've been meaning to do that, um, quilling lady. Um, to do watches of all my pens and putting the number next to them. It's a very good idea to do that. Very good idea. Okay. Oh, can't wait for my Chinese later. My Dingapore noodle had uh, well, I had dodged and chip last night. Dave had oh, blood. I coloured over the line. Look at me. Dave had uh, cod and chip. I had I had dodged and chip. Very nice. Sometimes I like fish. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, they didn't a specific a specific channel. Talk about whatever you like. Uh, except religion and politics. My favourite, I must say, I am liking the tri blend. I am liking the tri blend very much. Um, especially with the with the way that you can blend them. It's so clever. Um, so yeah, I like my tri blend. But also, I do like my one that I got from the work. Now these are um D Kerma Yurka D D M Y K design work these one and they are um a specific brand that the work Dell. Um I believe it is actually their brand. So um and they've they've got quite a few brands um like make and create and you know that that's the brand for the work. So uh, yeah, I I it's hard. I love using my the the one that, that I just drew there, but I also love using my tri blend. The coloured crisp, night and crisp. You know what I mean. If you're using them on their own, and when you're blending with them, it just just adds fantastic. You know, so it's a very hard question. I have someone who preferred. Uh, I know someone who preferred their Copic marker to the tri blend, and they've got all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, Artena. Never heard of Artena. Um, I'm all, I've also been looking into the chameleon pen, the one that chain colour depending on what pen you use, um, and also the one where you where you go like that with the nib. You know. And you can do a, a lovely colour. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I've got, um, I've actually got pattern that I need to print out onto the um, white damping card uh, that I want to dark colour in. But at the moment, I'm doing cross stitching in my spare time. I I tend to go from one to the other, if you know what I mean. I don't always do paper craft, I do other crafting as well. So at the moment I'm cross ditching. Um, and then I 
then every now and then I go on to go on to other things like crocheting. Um, or sometimes I'll take my colouring book down, down dead, and I'll colour in dead, you know? So, uh, but I never leave a project. I always do it and finish it. I hate to leave a project. Okay, so there's the pennant all coloured in. There's the lid. Let's put those to the guide. Um, now I've got to try and remember what colours I use for my hedgehog. Gold brown, I use my gold brown. What did one? I've got three lots of brown here. Do I use, I use um, the lighted one of the gold brown. Is that the one I used first? No, it's not. What one did I use for? I can't, can't remember. Oh, I need that one. I remember that. And did I not use one of these? Or two of these? Uh, I, used my, I used the cream. I remember that. The illustrator did one. An illustrator pack. It, the, um, it, the portrait pack. From uh, illustrated by Spectrum Noir, the portrait pack. It's got different different shades in there. So, yeah, what one shall I use? Let me just test it, medium one. Okay. I don't think I used the red brown, did I? It doesn't look like I used that one. Earth brown, this doesn't. Damn familiar. They are all the browns I've got. These are the new ones that um, came with the that bag. That, um, someone sent them to me. I don't know who. No one. No one admitted to it. <laughs> so uh, these were in in the in the um, bag when I when I opened it. Right, so I quite like that one to dart off with. Let's dart off with this. Don't forget, you can actually mix your, your coloured up. Mix your coloured up. Don't be afraid to just blend with one lot of one lot of brown. Um, mix them all up. That's what I did the other day with my other hedgehog. Okay. Do I just colour them in? Like this bird. And then I'll add my dark a bit. And then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. These one might be a little bit lighter than the last one I did. So this is the um, Earth Brown Blend, and it's the lighter one. So it's EB1 that I'm using. Okay. I don't colour perfect. Okay, Red Brown. I don't think I'm going to use the Red Brown. Oh, actually, I quite like this bit. That what that one, wasn't it that one? Yeah, it must have been. I quite like the other one. I quite like that one for the for the rest of it, you know. Um, but behind for the um, yeah, the gold brown, uh, brown, dark. Yeah, for the for the uh, bikey bit, um, I'm going to use the dark brown. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, just do dot whatever. You do you. So here we go. I just do dot over the black bit. So that's the darker area. Okay. Just like that. They are 
Very cute. Very cute. Okay. And then I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use my GB Dick, which is gold brown shade number Dick. And I'm going to just do the odd area with it, you know. I'm not going to go over the top, just line, you know, just to show a bit more definition within the bikiness of it. Okay, that's how I, I would do it. Okay, and, and with these two. Oh, Star Trek. Day watching Star Trek. I've done that on purpose to, to get me down dead, I reckon. How funny. Probably one I've Dean. I've Dean most of them. There we go. So that one is done. I might actually use the red brown. Let's have a look at this colour. That's quite nice. I'm going to do red brown, just dotting again, dotting and dashes all through. Just to give it a bit more diamond. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. Lovely. Just to do more, you know, just make it look a bit more bikey. Is that what hedgehogs are? They are bikey. Yeah. Don't hurt except when they bite. Um family and friend, that was that's one of the ones from the Christmas Compendium Theatre. Um, last year's Christmas Compendium. The Ultimate Christmas Compendium. Just doing that. Oh, Fred. You make me blush. <laughs> oh, me blush. Yeah, right. Right, so I'm using um, RB1. No, yes. I'll be one for the. Am I? Am I though? Is that what I used last time? I used. I used I'll be one to start off with. Just for the edges. Do you see? Just for the edges of, of the. Of the um, hedgehog. And any, any folded bit. So I'm not colouring it all in. Just part of it. Yeah, and I'll show you what I'll do, what I'll do next. I'll do it with this one first. I then get my cream illustrator and I colour in with my cream illustrator and I let the illustrator do the blending. Okay, do you see? See what it's doing? There you go, let me show you. You do? So I'll do another one uh, using um, RB1, okay, um, first, and I'll show you um, what, it, what it's done. So at the fold, around some of the edges, on the arms, on the, on the legs and feet, yeah. I just put it really nilly, really. Let me show you. Can you see, with, the mid, with this one here, I've just done it around part of it, yeah? And then I get my cream illustrator and I just use it and it blends in really, really nicely, really nicely. It's not, one, it's not a blending illustrator at all, okay? Let me put, put it straight, it's not a blending illustrator it's just a normal illustrator but they do blend really nicely with your alcohol pen because i think they are alcohol anyway 
I could be wrong. Buy some alcohol. Oh, they are alcohol. Yeah, alcohol die break it, dead. So I, I would likely right. Okay. I get. I. I don't know. I think. I think the hedgehog bite need to have a little bit more darkness in it. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use um, my illustrator. It um, dark brown. E B Deben. And I'm just going to use the thin end of my illustrator. Yeah, it needs some darkness. And I'm just going to um, do some line, different direction. Don't be scared. Just do it willy nilly. You know me, I don't do perfect. It's way too overrated. Just do it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And each one is different, each hedgehog bikey bit is different. So don't try and be perfect and make them all the same and think, oh, it needs to be the same. It doesn't, really. By doing it all different, they all look the same, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? They're all, you can tell that they're all hedgehog. There you go. Here. They are cute. They're the hedgehog. Very nice. Very, very nice. I love you, knee pen together. Yeah. Crafting at the end of the day, um, Dieta, is the new medicine. I've nicked that from Laura. Right, I'm now going to cut around my hedgehog just because it's easier for me to do it like this. I'm going to try and fuddy cut, but fuddy cut will dial. <laughs> will dial. So I just, I just go ahead with it. I don't, I don't worry about how fat the white bit is, how thin it is. I just do it. Look, guys, some of the back there is really thin, and some of the front in, <laughs> and above the head in, <laughs> really fat above the head. Move the paper, not your jitters, okay? As well. So there's one. All right, All right mum. Need guide, they're going to the beach. GG, I'm just moving the paper around. So cute. Oh, I didn't do the note. Let me get my dark brown out again. The dark brown EB7 in the illustrator. And you use the, the nib end rather than the brush end. And I'm just going to put a little dark bit on the end of their nose. Using the dark brown. Just for the nose. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> Dieta, you need to email me that. What you just did, that that a great that'll be a great damp. Copyright the crafty crafter. <laughs> oh. Don't wet them all, Duff. Like my date, just covering them up with glitter. Copyright the crafty crafter. <laughs> that is a brilliant day in the air time. I'm going to do a damp job for you, just saying that. A magic one. Huge. 
going to be A3, guys. <laughs> Call that going to be expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm lo I've been looking into um, uh, a company who uh, make stamps over here in England. And um, they're interested in doing some of my design to help me out. So, what did bake people? No, dark no. Dark no. It's got to be a dark no. Okay, no, I'm just going to cut around the pennant. Same again. Don't care how thick it is. Oh, I might even damp another pennant um, because I don't think these measure four, four inches. No, they don't. I might do a few more pennants. Um, we'll do. We'll do. Okay. Let's just. You know what? Let's cut like that. All the way around, even a bit at the end, and I'm just going to nip up there, nip up there, and that's it. That'll do. Get that triangle. I'm not going to curve them, can't be bothered. <laughs> Ten people today, my viewing each day. Since I've been um, doing it at five o'clock, it's been going up and up and up, and I'm so pleased with that. And I found out that there are only 13.8 per cent of my viewers are, um, aren't um, subscribed. So there are dumb viewers out there that aren't subscribed who watch me quite regularly by the look of things. Why aren't you subscribed? Oh, this is from the Inspiration Magazine, Fred. The craft, the crafted inspiration magazine by craft companion. All right, it, it, it's you thirty. So moving the paper, not your digger. If you're fuddy cutting, the time makes the difference. Yeah, it does make a big difference. Um, not a lot of my UK people will be watching because it's um, around the time where it kiddie dinner time, etc. I don't mind. Most of my people are from America anyway, go. And I've got no male viewers. I need some, more, some male viewers, girls. So do get your male mate. Male crafty mate in, um, to come and watch as well. Your neighbour today, oi, got no choice. Got what watch this. <laughs> These pennants are turning out really cute, you know. Yeah, I agree. I do agree with you there, actually, Fred. Um, uh, it, it, something I said earlier on, the product that I use, a product that I like and that I can eat, use easily, for instance, and I gave it for instance, I don't know if you're here, the um, dampendable made it so much easier for me to damp things. And I do recommend it if you have dexterity problems. You can buy them from um, scrapbooking.com um, and there's a few jobs in America like Michael, for instance, they tell, they tell the Dampendable, it's by LDRA Creative. 
everyone loved the little darling. Um, and the people that are that watch them will probably have a damp end of all. I haven't been watching them for long. And they've been very kind to me as well, because they sent me a load of product um, just to try for me to have a go at, you know. Um, they watch my channel as well when they can, which is cool. I know Alan enjoyed watching it. He told me. He does work at the time. He worked in computers, I believe. Oh my word, I'm so jealous, Patty. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to because it's HSN only. HSN don't deliver to UK. Which is a Jane. I'd love I'd love the new um haunted house and the little characters that go with it. I would love to have them. And I tell you what, those other dyes were really gorgeous. What was it? The hexagon and the diamond or something like that? They were gorgeous last night. Very nice. I was about to go to bed actually at that time and then I saw that the um that they were live and I was like, Oh what the oh it's Thursday, I forgot about that. <laughs> so I had to watch. I had to watch. No, our crafting, eh? Read my question above. Hang on. What have I missed? What have I missed? A midload. That's a cute bundle. No problem, Dieta. I'll do that after the show for you. It is a really nice damp. Yeah, it's a very cute damp. I'll, uh, I've actually got it on a block um, somewhere. Can't find it now. I've got it on a block. Here's somewhere. Where are you? Ooh. Don't tell me I loved it. It done my hair. Really nice damp. Um, I cannot remember what it did on it. Um, it's about um, the the magic of Christmas never end when you've got family and friends or something like that. It's very cute. I had it just earlier on, actually. I was holding it in my hand just before the show. So I was going to use it. Goodness knows where I put it. No. So, this is taking ages, did Bob? Why is it taking ages? Probably because I'm talking too much. So, um, yeah, I've done one video so far for for um, iCrafter. And they love what I've made. They never thought of this. Nobody, nobody thought of what I made, actually. Um, and they were so impressed with it. I did a little sneak peek for you last... On uh, on Wednesday, on the last day. A little sneak peek. Um, wasn't allowed, wasn't, I'm not sure I was allowed to give you a sneak peek, but I did. I haven't been told off for it, though. But uh, I'm not allowed to show you, show you, if you know what I mean. Right, so that bit done. What I thought, I have these um, 
I did have the lovely um, Oh, I found the damp that you want. The magic of Christmas never end. It created gift our family and friend. That's what that did. Um, and I'm looking for the, there they are. I'm looking for the dyes. Now, um, my, my uh, lovely friend, Auntie Laura, bought me these. Uh, oh, sent me these over all the way from America. And I thought they were absolutely gorgeous so i thought i'd do something with it um in the magazine they use heart but i don't have heart that big enough um so i thought i'd use these dye very nice dye i thought i would um use my yellow obviously and use my black so the black gonna be that one and i gel I'll cut around that. And I thought yellow for, for the Dan sort of thing, you know, can you get one where I'm going with it? And it's got a really beautiful little um, ditch around the Durkle. Gorgeous. So I'm going to cut a bit out there. Okay. Like that, I'll get my tape. This is my um, low tack tape. I'm just going to pop them two together, just like that. Okay, I'll get my what the Uji thing, put that there. Um, did I move that out away for the moment because I've lost the die that I was going to use. Where did I put it? Is it under here? Here it is. Right, so I'm going to use the, these as well. And I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of them maybe. To start off with, stick <sighs> just fit on that. So that one. Where's the, the other one? <laughs> oh, this is what happens, eh? Live on there. There we go. There it is. Cricket. I do like the cricket on my day. And the cricket, is it the cricket joy? Look very interesting. I'll do that, uh, yeah, I'll do that later uh, for you later, dear. Um, so, doing that. To answer you. I've got another card. I've got to make a card today as well. Um, a birthday card. It's uh, one of my old, very old friends. He passed away about 11 years ago. He passed away. Um, and I met his mum and his dida through Dave. It's very strange. I tell you, it was very weird. Because Dave was explaining to me about his his um, head teacher had it done who passed away and was explaining to me about the situation and I said I think I know who, who you mean um, and I said the name straight away and it, that was it I had to meet the, this lady um, and tell her um, that I knew knew her done and um, and I heard about the daughter as well. Her, uh, he twin did that. Um, he lived with me for a little while. I helped him out and he lived with me. Um, so, yeah, it's a um, very small world. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. 
So that one, and now two. I love you in my midi, guy. I love you in my midi. Don't know where I'd be without it. Putting all these little things through my my big machine. Oh my word. <laughs> that would have been a nightmare. Then another one. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed it. L looting. You lot are very, very quiet. I've lost one person. Uh oh. Does that mean I'm boring now? Yeah, see, that's what put me off as well, Dieta. I had to subscribe to something and I didn't really want to do that. You know? That, and that um actually why I want to um start I want to get my Delta Brother Ganon cut. Because you don't have to join any subscription at all. You can use different SVG file to cut. Oh Brother Gan cut is, is where it is. I might have bought dumb on Fred because I've lost one person. I'm I'm trying to I, I'm trying to go quicker now, guys, because I've got that feeling like on Wednesday that that my phone, my old phone, this camera here, um, might cut out because of the battery, because it's an old battery, the poor fella, um, he is old. Right, I'm going to turn it over, because I've been told that I've got to keep turning. Doogie T told me, I've got to keep, keep turning, Will, keep turning them over. Ah, gee, I had a big job, but I didn't go on with it. Later. I don't know why, I just couldn't get on with it. And um, I, so I asked my partner to get me the um, Gemini, the original, very first Gemini, for a birthday present. So he, he got me that for my birthday. And um, I told him I would get this one. He said, oh, what's wrong with the other one? I said, well, it's really good. Uh, I need one more. Um, but for all those tiny little dyes I've got, I need something small. And my other small one that he bought, bought me was so old, <laughs> very old, um, that I need a new plate. And because it's so old, they don't make the plate for it anymore. So I couldn't use it, which is a shame. And I did like that little mini one. Yeah, I do as well. I like it as well. Very good, very good machine. Right. People day, oh, I've got the, the diamond or something. Can't remember the name of it. Diamond. A lady's name. G, G invented it. Um, lady crafter. Oh, that tape really is diggy. Oh, bye, Quillin lady. Sorry to do you go. Might be her dinner time. Okay, so here I am. Just to walk in down a dream. So I'm going to pop. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to cut this in half. If I can find my digit. Here they are. My delf sharpening digit. I'm going to cut them in half, take one of my little feathers, close the box, and I'm just going to pop him here, and then manoeuvre there to where I want it. Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look good? No, you can't do it. 
what do you think guys that is really nice so i'm gonna get my um different dyes in uh, yeah that's the one i want my foam tape here foam tape okay i've got to get this done as quickly as possible now because it's nearing dinner time for me okay there we go that's it diamond press i've heard good things about the diamond press very good thing and i've heard good things about the, the um the eye crafter one the eye crafter die cut machine very good thing about that and i'm not saying that because they've they've taken me on and a get the diner permanent get the diner i'm saying that because i have actually heard good things about it very good thing um very very good thing so i pop him there close it up pop him there oh look at that he cute <laughs> yeah breakfast time for you guys not my fault you're in the past to me is it australia is in the future i'm in the present and you're in the past I had Jean on toast today. Look at her. Very nice. And she's playing in the sand on the beach. Okay, now. Um, so, in the picture, I think it just, yeah, it is on all the dye. And I think what they've done is they've attacked dumb to dumb if you know what i mean tap them up, up. so um i don't think i'm going to do the back i'm not going to do the back here um i'm just going to do the die okay who cares about the back you know um i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna trim down there I'm going to turn down there. Like that. I'm going to get some red, my glue. Where is my glue? I had some glue here. Here it is. Fell over. I'm going to get some glue. <laughs> I'm going to pop them glue. Let me see. On the front, right here. I'm going to cover up one of the pennant. Okay, and I'm just going to attack them like this. Okay, just like that. And look, you've got an extra long pennant how cool is that so i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna maneuver it because it's still wet so it's like that can you do i'm gonna trim off some of this end as well Something like that because that's a little bit too long for my liking and it's gonna go like that yeah yeah i like that and i'm going to put them um, on my tiny square things on there these are very very tiny go too tiny for my chubby little fingers 
and I have got little fingers. <laughs> got tiny hands. Okay. So that that done there. Yeah, you could. You could hang the Christmas light. I've actually got a Christmas light damp somewhere. Don't ask me where it is, because I don't know. Like a lot of my Christmas things. Okay. Don't try and get this done in 20 minutes. Okay. And I haven't, I haven't got anything else for the two little fellas. It's a shame because it would have been nice to have a, um, a Dan card or something like that. But I don't have anything like that. I did try and at the day this was a sort of like a spur of the moment. It was supposed to be for next week, but it spur of the moment this week because I was going to plan for it this weekend. So you've got a bear of the moment show here. Cause I want wanting to show you as I did the eye crafter. Dear Good with me. The uh, the eye crafter product. There you go. That that. that. Okay, I'll do the other, the other died later on. Um, oh, I might, yeah, do the other died later on. And when, I, when I take the picture, I'll do it, do it on this died, if you know what I mean. Not showing <laughs> that died. <laughs> I'm cheating. Right, I'm going to use my tape pen again. Take tape pen, glue pen. Yeah, I could make a hanging tag. Okay, let's put some on here. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I am actually going to um, damp that chair out, that bench out. Did I did? Did I did that? That what I'm gonna do? Um, Good in me. Look at him there. Right, I'm gonna pop it there. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of things you could do with it, but I tell ya. Um and as as I said, I've I've adapted the box to make it like a a pizza box, you know, the lid of a pizza box. Cause I quite like that design. You could just have it as a pull off box, pull off lid if you want. Um Yeah, I I've done it like this. Just because I like the, that design. I don't make boxes that often and I thought this tutorial would be great because I can make boxes I'm just well I'm just a little bit lazy when it comes to boxes really so uh, I just cut around it like this this bench I need I need my um what did earth blend right let you let you this is the red brown okay so this bench is gonna be red brown i'm just gonna color it in lightly 
using mid the mid color which is RB2 okay I'll show you what I do with this bench in a minute I could I could go all out have a have a nice background with the D in the background you know and the yellow down but I want it to be nice and simple. I don't want it to be complicated. Okay. Okay, there we go. And I'll just use um, RB3 just to show off the dark a bit, you know. Now, some of this might be covered up, but I'm going to do all of it just in case, you know. Okay, that looks good. Now, I do have a feeling it's going to be covered up, but I don't mind. Okay, and then I'm going to fuzzy cut around it. <laughs> the edge isn't hungry. What is it? 10 a.m., half past 10 there. And it's lunchtime in, in E died. And E died. I'm just fuzzy cutting around. I'm not worried about how I'm cutting, just doing it willy nilly. Like how I like, like doing me, to do it willy nilly. Don't worry about perfection. I'm not a Borg. <laughs> Like most of human beings are like, oh, got to be perfect. No, what the hell? I did that to a friend once. I'm not a Borg. Right, where's my blunt craft knife? I need to cut out this bit here as well. I'm just going to cut out a rectangle, whatever you want to call it, oblongish shape. Okay. go and this bit is going just going to go flat onto the yellow piece to do that just because I'm lady and pop that there and pop my pennant just here like this doesn't matter that it's going over Gives it a bit more dimension then. Okay. So the pennant is going to go like that and then there's me other little character there he is
one and two, one and two. Oh, let's put that a bit down. So I'm going to dip on the bench like that. I want the heart going because they're in a love, lovey dovey day. So cute. Oh, let's move him over a bit. She's got to have a deed to debt on as well, hasn't she? Yeah, part of the you editing in afternoon leader, the other part is on in, in uh, morning. Dieta, it uh, half past ten there, or just after half ten there? Is that right, Dieta? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Looking, having a chat, lovingly looking at each other in the eyes at the beach on a bench. Okay, very cute, very cute. Turn it over, plonk them, tape pen on the back. Why are you gluing onto that bit? There we go, bit in the middle. And then just pop that there. Pop that on the top. <laughs> I used to do that, Patty. Not good for you. You need to eat dear. Okay, right, I'm just plonking glue on the main bit of the white, the uh, white, the yellow, aren't they? The yellow bit. Don't plonk that there, with me, little tweener. Okay, do I'm going to look at the picture, yeah, I thought so. Jab for you. Oh, I haven't done the jab for you, have I? I don't know where it is. I think I've lost that, that, uh, that die. It's around here somewhere. Under this mess. Okay. Yeah, Di, I thought you ate breakfast uh, with us on the Joe. I thought you ate, had your coffee and breakfast whilst you're watching. Yeah, I had your long Joe today on my day. Oh, I am boring. I've lost, lost uh, four, four people now. I've had ten. Now I've got, now I've got dick. Oh well, must be boring. Oh, I've lost one. Where are you gone? I've lost it. Lost something. Lost me marble. That's what I've I've done. I've just gone and lost a. I did do dick of them. And I've just gone and lost one. Dear me. Do I I need to do the dentament anyway? So if I can find the dentament here somewhere. 
What a mess I have made. It was all tidy before the show. I bet it's underneath. Or not. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Ah, job for you. Where the job for you die? Okay. I just pop that on there like that. Put it through quickly. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a, a habit that will never end being a little bit messy. Oh well. Oh dear. Bit hard to get through there. Eh? Oh, that better. I do like this, Middy. It's a great buy then. It takes so much time. Right, let's tidy this bit up. I think most of my rubbish is on the floor. Oh, there it is. A bit I'm looking forward on the floor. Oh, well. Right, just for you. And then I got a job for you. Job for you. I love that doll. <laughs> oh. Really hard to put the tweeter down. You need to make them tweeted. Someone need to make them tweeted for pe people with dexterity problems. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, I know what I need to get. I need to get the reverse, reversing, reverse tweeted. That's what I need. Reverse tweeted. Right, then you're going on the front of, no, because it's not the dentament, then you're going on the side of the box of pink. Because it's tacky glue, it's easy to glue down. Take the paper away from the die. Them glue. I nearly finished this glue. And you know what? Didn't I drop you in um, Barbara um, the bottle holder? The glue had come out so much more easily. So much more easily. I would use my um, dotty pen, but I tend to rip the little piece by accident. Okay, so this is just for you. You're going to go on the front of the box and just going to plonk it right here. Just for you. Just for you. There you go. And there is a finished box. Well, nearly finished box. Just got to damp out another garland, another garland, pennant garland, and put it on the dyed. Put it on the die there, but you get the gist from this. That's what it look did look like. And look at that, it's beautiful. I'm loving it. And it opened just like that. So the lid is attached to the box. So like a pizza box pizza box. Got the night paper in dyed as well. And it double dyed it. And it's all on dand. Paper and so, um, yeah, 
I did have to come over to England, but I don't know where they've gone. So I didn't need to do that. Yeah, yeah, I think another nice, nice little um, craft there. I've still got to make a birthday card for later on, so I'm going to do that um, maybe tomorrow instead of today, because I'm tired now. So, no more crafting for me today, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, what a great session we've had. And just under two hours, which is what I was hoping for. I knew it would be a, a long one today. So, yeah, pop that, pop the lid on that. My blunt knife. Um, I don't have a rubber grip one. Um, yeah, I like this. I don't want to give this away. <laughs> That's how much I like it. Didn't hold that down a bit. So, yeah. Very nice. Thank you for joining me today, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure, as usual. And, um, yeah, I tell see you on Monday now. Um, oh, can't wait. Can't wait for next week. Going to be nice. Going to be very nice show next week. Nice and relaxed, as usual. Um, I do want to do a craft along very soon, though. And for my craft along, I do want to start um having some of you on so if you watch this after the um the live um at 5 p.m every on uh, every last friday of the month i'm going to be doing a craft along and the craft along uh will be using the hopefully using the um crafted inspiration magazine and we'll do a lovely one hour session of crafting, hopefully one hour session. Um, if it goes on a little bit, it doesn't matter. But that is what I'm um, planning on doing on the last Friday of each month. So um, please do email me at the crafty crafty concept at gmail.com if you would like to come on live. Um, I can have up to five people, I think um to come on with me um what uh oh you and me you mean dear a one hour chit chat we can do that um if you want to have a chat we can do it by zoom if you want we don't have to do it live um please do uh also hit that like button um that always does help um help my video go further up the list um oh everyone yeah why not why not um yeah it helped me go up the list more um yeah please do share like share comment and subscribe as i always say at the end of my video and i shall see you next monday have a great weekend guys keep crafting and keep happy okay thank you for joining me bye bye